Good afternoon, I'm Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. It is Friday the 24th of March 2017. Okay, in this video we will look at the tropical cyclone formation that is occurring in the Coral Sea currently, 600 k's northeast of Townsville. Its likely track and forecast threat with the coastal crossing on North Queensland in the coming days, more likely to be at this stage late on Sunday or on Monday. Okay, you can also head over to the HigginsStormChasing.com website and become a premium member and support us for all the work that we do, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You can gain access to our Tropical Cyclone Forecast track maps, which have already been issued and are live on the site. It's $27 a year and we work very hard hard to um, earn our money, I'll, I'll tell you that much. So your support is greatly appreciated by becoming a premium member. Okay, let's go over here and have a look at the current forecast model data from Windy TV, which is using EC data. This is some of the world's leading forecast data. And you can see that the, the development of the tropical low system out here in the Coral Sea is really starting to spin up now. Uh, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center has issued a tropical cyclone formation alert with a tropical cyclone formation uh, chance as being high in the next 24 hours and they've indicated global models uh, to, to develop this site into a cyclone in the next 12 hours. So things are moving along quite quickly at the moment. Now if we progress through onto the timeline, this is for Friday, this is now current. If we progress on the forecast track through to Saturday around lunchtime on Saturday, remember this is just one model, um, so we're going to have a look at a couple to give you an idea. Um, but you can see the rapid intensification there of, this, of the cyclone during Saturday. Um, most likely they're a Category 1, possibly Category 2 system on this, on this model. Progress through to early on Sunday, Sunday at 6am. You can also see here that there is further rapid intensification of this system. Now this is due to being in a very favourable environment. Warm sea surface temperatures of 30 degrees, low vertical wind shear, and um, plenty of moisture being drug into the and, and concentrated into the system. You can see that it's tracked basically towards the southwest on this model, and it is intensifying there on Sunday. It looks like to be around about a Category 3 system. I can drop some wind speeds in there and show you there's, there's 100, 100 kilometer an hour gusts up to or wind speeds up to 122, possibly higher. All right. Now if we progress further through till Sunday afternoon at about 6 o'clock, the system continues to track towards the southwest while rapidly intensifying, uh, still expecting to be a Category 3 at this stage on this model, and looks like a, a coastal crossing would be likely at either, either Townsville or Cairns or in between that North Queensland region, placing this, this, these people in these areas at significant risk of tropical cyclone impacts and severe impacts at that. On this model, the, the system crosses the coast at around about 2 a.m. Monday morning. This is based on a forecast, remember please guys, and it looks like it's, it's between Townsville and Cairns at this stage. Now it's very important to note that this intensity may change and this track may change. So it could be between about Cooktown and Bowen, but this is just one model giving you an indication here. And we have some pretty high 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 speed winds there. A 164 would make it a Category 3 system, guys, with very destructive winds, heavy rain, flash flooding, and storm surge. Okay, so let's go over here and have a look at the GFS model. It is another world leading model from BSCH. Um, you can see today that the the system there is offshore and it is further developing. Now I will point out and mention that this model has been very slow at picking up the developments of this tropical system in the past three days. Other models have been all over it, um, hence our earlier warnings, but we have been waiting for the GFS model to come on board and it is so now. If we scroll ahead, Let's go out to 4 p.m. on Saturday because I'll try and keep the video a little bit shorter. You can see that the, the wind speeds are tightening and developing. Looks like we may have on this particular model a Category 1 system by Saturday. Further progressing out into Sunday afternoon and it, it further rapidly develops uh, the wind speeds there and it's tightening into the, the low level circulation centre or almost an eye there on the cyclone 
as a Category 2 system on on at 4 p.m. on Sunday. Remember, again, forecast model data. It's not guaranteed. It's not locked in, but it's giving you an idea. Let's scroll down in the next in the next block, and this is 4 a.m. So you can see that the EC model had it crossing at 2 a.m. between Townsville and Cairns. The GFS model has it crossing as a slightly weaker system, Category 2. Pretty much right on top of Townsville, guys, um, on the GFS model. It comes in, it, it heads due west and, and comes in over Townsville early Monday morning or, or during Monday. And this is 4 p.m. Monday afternoon where you can see the eye of the cyclone right over Townsville there. Now, this would place uh, Townsville at significant risk of tropical cyclone impacts, whether it be a Category 2 or a severe Category 3, possibly 4. I'll show you another one that's indicating a four at the moment. Um, so look, again, areas from Bowen to about Cooktown need to, to start to prepare for tropical cyclone impacts now. And I will point out this system does move further east, uh, west into the inland parts of Queensland. I'll show you that shortly. Okay, here is the HWRF model. It is very, very good. It is placed in, as an invest on this system, so it, it's producing its high resolution data to give outputs of potential forecasts on this tropical low slash cyclone. That's it there on Sunday morning. You can see that it's a 995, rapidly develops through, through Saturday while heading towards the southwest as a 983. Um, into Sunday, it continues to rapidly develop uh, lowering in pressures significantly. Wind speeds are increasing there to 70 knots or 140 k's an hour thereabouts on Sunday. And this system continues to track, or this model continues to track it and rapidly intensify it towards the coast um, into, into, into Sunday, late Sunday, as a 956 uh, severe category 3 system. With, with wind gusts of, of um, 110 knots there, so around about your know, 200 kilometres an hour um, on this on this particular model. And to give you an idea of where it's crossing, it, it's, it's near to Townsville, more likely to be towards the Ingham area at this stage on this model, but Townsville is certainly under, under a severe cyclone threat here on this model, 954, 951. It continues to deepen because the longer it stays out over water in a favourable environment, the longer it has, the better chances it has of further developing in this particular scenario. There is uh, favourable wind shear, favourable polar poleward outflow. There is favourable SST, sea surface temperatures. So it is it is pretty much likely to rapidly intensify, guys, as it moves in towards the coast. And this particular model has it crossing the coast during Monday then for heading further inland through inland parts of northern Queensland. So again, another significant model that's showing a, a severe threat for north Queensland. It doesn't end there. Um, we'll have a look at these, the eight-day rainfall forecast totals from the Bureau of Meteorology, and you can see that anywhere from about Mackay north could expect heavy rain from this system, particularly from Bowen to Cairns, um, that region along the coast there may see rainfall totals in excess of 400 millimetres. There have been some suggestions on data of sev up to 750 millimetres along the coast here, closer to where the centre of the cyclone tracks and obviously just to the south where the heaviest rainfall wraps around for a much longer period of time. Even after the cyclone moves inland, uh, it it's continuing, or the XTC, sorry, um, as a rain depression and, and is likely to dump heavy rain and flooding across northern inland parts of Queensland during the next week. There is some uncertainty whether it tracks towards the south as a rain depression through western Queensland. We'll worry about that later, but at the moment, this is the significant threat area for heavy rain and significant flooding. Right, so just a reminder too, to head over to the Bureau of Meteorology's website. We will pass on as many warnings as we possibly can um, from them, as well as our own, which we issue our own track maps, which as we have done, as I mentioned to you on our premium members, um, email alerts and that sort of thing as well. Um, HSC apps will have notifications sent out and Facebook's will, our Facebook page will have um, 
considerable uh, updates, warnings and advice. So we'll put EMQ advice, emergency management, disaster management um, as the system continues to develop and cross the coast. Just repeating, from Cooktown to Bowen, please start your cyclone preparations now and continue them into the weekend um, while, while monitoring for further updates, warnings and intensifications. Um, we do expect this to be quite a nasty system, uh, bringing possibly very destructive winds to wherever it crosses the coast, gale force winds anywhere from about Bowen North as well. Uh, very heavy rain, flash flooding, storm surge. Now, storm surge causes coastal inundation in low-lying areas. Some of the storm surges may be up to two or three metres high. That that means above sea level, above normal, normal highest tide of the year, guys. So all I can basically say is prepare. If uh, We may see cyclone shelters open in various locations. We will endeavour to try and pass this information on should that occur. And um, please let your friends and family know about this. Activate your emergency plans and get them in place so you know what to do. Have radio, water, food, phone, uh, battery operated, of course, because if this system comes across as a category three, four or five, there is likely to be power outages, water failure, water outages and telecommunications outages along with numerous roads cut. You could be left in the dark um, with this system for quite some time. So that's why it's important to have everything charged up, everything ready to go in case of the worst case scenario, which is definitely possible with this system, guys. All right, we'll do another public video update uh, tomorrow at around about the same time and we'll highlight any changes or any further threats. And just a reminder, guys, you can support us and all of our hard work by becoming a premium member on our website at higginsstormchasing.com. 27 bucks a year and we throw everything we've got into our forecasts and warnings on on that site guys All right. Thanks for watching and please stay safe in North Queensland in the coming days